I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here today in the arena here at the school with Leica Geosystems. I'm joined by Neil Williams. Neil, you've created this arena here for training purposes, yeah. but also to get people familiar with the technologies that we're talking about and that the Leica Geosystems and Hexagon teams are bringing in. Today, folks, we're here with one of those technologies that you've started to integrate into the actual tablet and the, the, the whole array of the, ma the machine control. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the importance of that, because we always talk about the road to autonomy when we meet, and this is that stepping stone, isn't it? It is, yes. We know uh, the UK or TRL and uh, National Highway has got aspirations for 2040, as well documented, the road to autonomy. Uh, in our opinion, for that road to autonomy to work, then we need to have a safe working environment. Yeah. We know about plant people interface, we're trying to reduce that, but there will still be a need for some kind of people plant interface. Yeah. Um, I don't believe we'll ever go away from that, but unless we go to the road fully autonomy. In order for that to happen, we need a safe environment. So introduction of XWatch into our solution will be a stepping stone into that, hopefully the road of autonomy, which looking at how technology adoption will be, what's coming in the future, I do firmly believe we will see some form of autonomy in aspiration of 2040. I think you're right there. I mean, there's a lot of things that we've been talking about. And last year, Neil, I went to see this semi-autonomous um, machine that you'd worked with one of the leading plant hirers. And so that's out there already. So that's going to become the norm over the next few years. Yeah. But the thing I talk about, Neil, and, and I guess for the operators out there, you'll understand this, is we've had a lot of this retrofit and a lot of these things. And, and again, like a Geosystems is now factory fitting with a lot of manufacturers. But it's cluttered that cab in yeah. there. There's all sorts of things around, you know, all distracting me as an operator when actually I should be looking out the window. That, that's part of this journey, isn't it? It is. And the feedback we get from, in particular, excavator operators, that there's a lot of, let's say, third party integration solutions. Yeah. And it does clutter the cab and it could distract the operator. And, and I've seen examples of five, six, seven different solutions inside an excavator. So we have listened to uh, the operators and especially manufacturers and how do we reduce the clutter, if we want to call it that. Yeah. Um, so what we did in this case with XWatch, we integrated that into our MC1 panel. Yep. So normally you would look at the uh, MC1 operation in the dig mode and as soon as the XWatch gets uh, alerted, then that screen automatically changes to the XWatch screen and vice versa returns back. Um, and I guess that could happen with other integrations as things evolve. Yeah. Um, cameras, as an example, we're working on that now where we can integrate cameras into our solution. So yeah, it's really to declutter the cab, make it a better environment for the operator, because we all talk about autonomy, but we still need the operator as it stands today. And the operator is the brains in the machine, and I've just grabbed my particularly exciting little personal alert device here, folks. This is actually integrated into that panel as well. So if I get too close to the machine, this is going to send it off. I have to turn it off because we don't want all the, the sounds and signals while we're recording this. But this is part of that journey, Neil, as well, isn't it? To actually not just be focused on the operator, but also the people that have to be, in yeah. some cases, around the machine. I know there's lots of discussions about tags in the market. People have either like or don't like. They all have opinions. Yeah. This has come from our mining industry. Right. Um, so it's been well proven and there's tens of thousands of these units in operation. But what we're trying to do here is when people do need to be around the machine is take the onus away from just the operator being, let people be aware that they're near a machine that could be dangerous. Yes. They yeah. get alerted, yeah. the machine gets alerted and it's pretty much the same as the thumbs up used to be, but this is another addition to that. So we're not advocating that people are, are safe in a, like a, a bubble, if you like, that yep. this is, protects them. It just makes them aware, and that's why it's a personal awareness tool. Neil, one of the other things that is really interesting about this collaboration is we talk about 3D machine control, folks. We talk about, generally, people think about it as a digging below the ground to get all of the, the, the great sort of swells and things. We've got it on this particular unit, we've got a steel wrist tilt rotator integrated to your co pilot system. But, you know, a lot of the elements of safety is what's above the machine as well so when you are working in those environments where you've got things that you don't want to reach up with the boom and smash to pieces or electrification lines and things like that having the 3d model 
means that you can go up, down and all around, doesn't it? And, and that's another part of this sort of journey, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And you can simplify that as well. You can put height offsets. Yeah. So there's a lot of functionality in, in the basic MC1 solution that I think a lot of people aren't aware of. Right. And this is the reason why we've got this training centre here. Yeah. So we have the product, but there's lots of nice little features in there that are maybe that the users don't currently understand or aren't aware that they're in the system. And this is what we're doing here is to enhance that like care experience. And the, the other element that I'm really, you know, surprised at, you know, you're a big company like a Geosystems owned by Hexagon, but, you know, you're working with businesses like Xwatch that have got a big community using them in the UK and saying, look, come to us, you know, we might be a big business, but actually we'd love to work with you as a specific provider to, to actually benefit all of our users. And, and it's a vice versa situation, yeah. isn't it? I think most businesses, large businesses, people have a perception they're not agile. Yeah, that's they, the they, word. They can be agile. If you see a solution uh, that fits into your portfolio, if you like, then why not collaborate? Xwatch in particular, in the UK, I can only speak for the UK, but it's been adopted widely and quickly. Yeah. And from our perspective, well, why not? Let's mm. look at what, if we've got complementary technologies, then why not look to interface? So I think there's a misnomer that large organisations aren't agile, they can be. And this is all about the MC1 system that you said there, Machine Control 1. It's a system that really is important though, Neil, to, to stress these key factors that the tablet inside there, folks, can be taken from this excavator to the dozers that you see uh, training behind us. And fundamentally, all then the integration can go with it as well, Neil, can't it? Yeah. And the cradle inside here actually holds the data of what is this? What's this machine? All the calibration work. So it really is, you know, a solution that you're adding to that can literally be carried from machine to machine. That's really important, isn't it? Especially for owner operators, if they've yep. got multiple machines, we're not expecting them to buy a complete system, but pre-enable each machine yep. at a relative cost. Um, obviously there are cost implications to that, yeah. but you can move the panel from machine to machine. And we often see that in owner operators, not so much on large scale contractors because yep. the machine is utilized all the time, yep. um, but certainly in uh, owner operator market, yeah. And I think this, uh, we're certainly seeing an explosion right now in the house building sector yeah. as well, Neil, aren't we? Where things like this, systems like this, are going to be really much more important because they're much more confined spaces yeah. in house building as well. So it's, it's great news for, for everyone that's looking to take advantage of all the productivity and efficiency gains. Yeah. Uh, with, with And, of course, the, the lack of people there with sticks, so reducing that space. Yeah, like I, I keep saying this over and over to people, we're not removing engineers from doing their task, we're just changing the tasks that they're doing. We don't want them in and around the machine. If they have to be in around the machine for a particular reason, then at least they need to be aware, the operator needs to be aware, they need to be aware of what's going on. We're not removing engineers or surveyors, that is something that I'm very passionate about. Absolutely. We still need engineers and surveyors, but they will do in different tasks on the job site. And as we move to the connected work site, folks, which I love to talk about, you know, we're able to get things done better. We're able to create more exciting projects because we're able to do things in 3D we couldn't do before. So, Neil, you know, this is yet another step forward for Leica Geosystems in the UK. And, you know, it's great to see that people can take advantage of this. Is it right now? Or? Yes, it's available now on the MC1 platform. We've got... Um a handful of systems in operation. We've done um, UK testing, we've done uh, global testing. It's all in the market and it's good to go. And it's for us, it's a, it's a good enhancement on the MC1 platform. Um, and again, technology will keep evolving and I'm sure we'll meet again and we'll have another solution to talk about. Well, Neil, it's great to kick off 2022 with something that's really important. It's great integration with Xwatch and Leica Geosystems. And uh, let's get some people training on it in this arena, eh, Neil? Yeah, great idea. Thank you.